Today I'm at the old Sykes Mill Tunnel at milepost 17. It's in a small town in southwest Virginia it's called uh, Clinchco. As you can see from the date at the top of the south portal, it was built in 1921. Now this area's got several tunnels just like this, and they're all built around the early 1900s. What do you say we go take a look inside? Now here on the left you can see uh, where workers and even passerbys have carved their name into the concrete. And this opening here, and there's one on the other side, uh, they were made so that the engineers who built these tunnels could control how the water drained from the surrounding mountainside. Okay. Now, whenever tunnels like this one was made, uh, after a section was cleared out by a steam shovel, they would use wood forms to build an arch, and workers would fill in the voids above and around the tunnel with rocks. Perfect. Once that was completed, they would encase the entire structure in concrete. Now these tunnels are very impressive. The builders had enough foresight of a growing railroad industry, so they took the time to make these tunnels wide enough and tall enough so that over the past 100 years, not one of these tunnels have been modified to carry modern freight. Here are the old power lines that ran through the tunnel uh, with the old lights still attached. Most of the area didn't have electricity at the time, but Clinchville Coal Company had their own steam generator located in a neighboring county that supplied electricity to the workers along the entire stretch of this railroad. Wow, it's hard to believe that bats are using the tunnel as a cave. There used to be probably 20 or more trains a day that passed through here. Now you're lucky if you see one train pass a week. The coal industry is dying off at an alarming rate. But places like this could soon just be part of history. Much like the Clinchfield Railroad Company that built this tunnel and laid these tracks. I want to end the video on a somewhat creepy note. If an immigrant worker was killed while building a tunnel like this, he was just simply buried along the tracks in an unmarked grave. Hundreds of immigrants died building the dozens of tunnels in this area. So chances are, there's even some buried right here, right beside the tracks I'm walking on.